This is AG Grid, the data grid for Enterprise. Here we're showing column sorting. You can also sort multiple columns by holding down Shift and clicking on the column headers. Next we'll sort by language, country and then by game name column. Filtering is done through the column menu. Let's filter by country first. This is the set filter. It works like Excel, so if your users are familiar with that, they'll be familiar with our interface. You can see numeric filtering on the total winnings column and custom filtering on the bank balance column. And finally, the quick filter lets you type in text to filter by. Grouping is done by dragging columns to the group section. Here, if we drag the country column into the group section, it will group all the rows by country. We also have aggregation. To demonstrate, we'll drag the monthly breakdown columns so they're inside our screen. And then we'll add all of those columns to the values section down below. This aggregates by all of those columns. There's no limit to the number of columns you can group by. So we can also bring language into the group section and put it before country. This splits our countries into languages. You can choose the aggregation function that you want to use. Here we have all the columns we've selected for aggregation and you can select the function you want to use or you can put in your own. Next, let's look at pivoting. First, turn the grid into pivot mode. When the grid's in pivot mode, it will only show you data for columns that you've selected for either pivot, group or value, because effectively it's a cube. So, if we bring language up to the pivot section, we will see that the rows, English, French, German, etc. are now columns. It becomes more meaningful when we pick a value. So, if I click on total winnings, it gives us a horizontal view of the total winnings for each language. There's no limit to the number of columns we can pivot by. We can drag country up to the pivot area as well. We can see that there are two levels of pivoting now. English language contains two columns for Ireland and United Kingdom. We can also combine pivoting with grouping, and we can drag the entire group called Game of Choice over to the group section. And as before, this will group them into rows. So here we can see the game Patterly and click the expand icon to see the rows for bought and not bought. Those were just some of the features of AG Grid. You can try these out for yourself on the demo page or with the examples in our extensive documentation. You can also get in touch to start a free two-month trial. Thanks for watching.